Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Thursday, which means a Dollar Tree haul mixed with a little bit of Dollar General. So let's go ahead and just go get straight into it. So as usual, I'm gonna start off with some crafting stuff. And to be honest, you guys, I mix Dollar General with Dollar Tree because there has just not been anything in the stores. Like I get that they're transitioning, um, but like these shelves are absolutely empty. Like I don't even see like boxes out on the floor. It's almost like they're just like clearing everything blank slate. And that's on like two of the stores that like I frequent and love nothing, nothing right now. So, um, not much, but I, I did find something. So let's go ahead and get into the Dollar Tree. First off, I want to share how stinking cute is this bag? I actually saw thrifty Tiffany haul this and to be completely honest, I bought this and another one because I walked into the Dollar Tree and of course didn't grab a cart. I mean, who does that? We all know when you don't grab a cart that you need a cart. Hey, Mommy, yes, what is this? that's $10. Huh? This one, this money's mine. Yeah, that money's yours so that you can Why buy is, something at. Daddy says tomorrow we're going to spend this on Walmart. We're going to go to Walmart today after I'm done. After we pick up Sissy, we'll go to Walmart and then you guys could spend. Take that away from your mouth. We don't put money next to our mouth, okay? So make sure, keep it in a safe place. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. Um, of course, I didn't grab a cart, so I grabbed my bag. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab some of their recyclable bags. Not recyclable, but reusable bags. And then I saw this one that I saw on Thrifty Tiffany's haul. And I was like, this is gorgeous. You could even, like, use this somehow um, for a DIY if you want to cut this bag apart. Because this print is just super adorable. And inside this bag, look what I finally found. Okay. So I also saw these for the first time on Thrifty Tiffany. And I really wanted to grab them because I wanted to see like what they were all about. Now, I love it. I love the concept. So you can sit it down like this, sit it, set it down, or you can set it up like this. The only thing I wish, like seriously, so many of their items like last week's haul i'll attach that down in the description box for you um like their glassware and things like that that have lids how they like majority of them have like the plastic on the rim these don't which i'm so sad about i wonder if i could do like a bead of hot glue somewhere to to make it like a tight hold because i was like this would be so pretty like if you had like shelving in your craft room or whatever to put your wood beads in here and it would just look so, yes, babe. I have like something like, I do something with her mouth. Like they're like, like, hmm. Who? Momo said like something. Momo said something? Okay, I'll I, talk. I saw like something like happened to like her mouth. Oh, okay, I'll go talk well, to her. Like, I thought, I like, that was like more than Momo. Okay, I'll go see after I'm done, okay? I like hurting. Okay. Um, but I thought it would look so pretty to put like a bunch of wooden beads in here, like your different sizes, and then like label it if you want. But I'm just like, this does not stay on. And if I were to like knock this on accident, I mean, that would be, imagine that mess picking up those beads. But if you guys have any ideas, comment down below how we can make this like sealed, maybe a rubber band. I, I'm i not, I don't have a rubber band, of course, but let me know down below because I would love, these are so pretty. I got three of them. They're just plastic, they're not glass. But I mean, couldn't you see those? Like, I don't know. I, I just see super fancy when I, yeah, those are cute. Okay, and then I grabbed, you guys know I have a thing for the bath mats. So I grabbed these mats as well. And I think these would be awesome for like hanging things. We'll, we'll see. I got three of them. I got three of them on accident though, cause they were stuck to each other. But by that time I was like, sure, whatever, throw in a third one. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, okay. All right, like I said, not much for crafting. I did find two new row on transfers. I found a summer one, which was really fun. 
We got some, hello summer, enjoy your trip, um, be a flamingo, stay balanced, stand by your hawk and always be fabulous. Real beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. What makes you different makes you beautiful. Um, today you are you, that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. Isn't that Dr. Seuss? Um, but so here are those. These could be, I really like the Hello Summer. And for those of you that dig um, the pineapples, like Pookie's reviews, absolutely love her. Gosh, I feel like I'm going to be putting in like mention channels, blah, 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 blah. So many people. Okay. And I loved this one. I wish they had it in the black rub on transfer. But look at how pretty those are. Even the details and like the joy. And then we got the love like this, the little house. Look at that. The little camper, the telephone. We got a chandelier, a house, a car. And then just, of course, all of the faith, hope, forgiveness, best, blessing, family, joy, love, um, laughter, life. So I thought those were really pretty. I hope that these come out in a black color. Now... These have come out before. Uh, they're decorative items, but you can DIY them, of course. But now they have them in different uh, textures, I guess. Different looks and different colors. So, do you guys remember these, the balls? The balls. If you guys watch my my DIYs, you'll get the reference. Um, so, they're like, what is this? Like Maybe like a sage green or something absolutely loved this one i'm definitely going to diy it and paint it a different color i did get i think two of each because like this one i actually really like the color and i think we're going to do a similar color in the kids bathroom maybe so grab that one and then there's this one now it looks kind of kind of similar but this is like very bold shapes and then it's white with like a green little speckle effect i thought these were just so cool like this almost looks like a balled up piece of paper i don't know i love it this one i would probably paint and then look at how pretty this one is can you see that like it's it's like a minty green this will look <laughs> super pretty for coastal farmhouse okay can you tell it's like the same day that i'm filming uh, and there we go. So those are the, the three different, um, shapes. I could have sworn there was another one, but maybe not. I'm like, let me see in my bag. Nope. Those were the three different shapes. Okay. And y'all look what I found now. But so I, there was only three canvases on the bottom shelf. I was like, there's no way I'm going to find the cow here. No way. No way. Well, I go through them and no joke, the cow was on the bottom. Now this one is different though than I actually have the horse one right here. Hold on. So I'm still, I think, looking because I'm almost positive this gold one came in. I think you guys said it was a pig and a cow. However, this one too, I mean, is gorgeous. And this even goes better with my bathroom and like our master bedroom color. Cause do you see like the little, like the blues in there? And then they stepped up their game right here. Okay. Do you see the like clear where it looks like kind of like a brush, a uh, breast, breath, brush stroke right there in the ear right here on the body. I mean, can you believe this is a dollar? Like, there's no way. It's so gorgeous. I I hope there's more of these animals, like in this one too. I'll, I like both of them. This is definitely like my colors though in my master bedroom bathroom. So, oh, I love those. I can't believe three canvases left three you guys and I found that one like what are the odds okay so some paper crafting not paper crafting but I want to show you these okay the 
the uh, hauler that I always reference, it's in your, no, in my dreams is her channel. I'll link it down below. I've been watching her um, a bunch, like I think in like the past month. And I like it because she hauls not just like craft stuff, but like house, you know, hold items, cleaning supplies. And she uses a lot of what she buys. So it's not like she's just showing them to you. Like she actually uses them and lets you know, like how they, you know, work and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to link her channel down below, but she hauled these, right? And there was a dog that came in it and a, a frog, but I didn't buy those because I wasn't going to use them. But for whatever reason, when she held them up, I don't know why I thought they were so much bigger than they actually are. Cause these are, I mean, look at, that's my hands. Like they're, they're tiny, but the quality of these, it's like a faux leather with the stitching and then the lines. So, so gorgeous. If you have like a little birthday coming up, um, this is great to like keep in your car, your purse to write little notes, but thought this was genius. Another thing she holds, which I was like, have to hunt down, have to find. I probably won't even use, so keep an eye out for a future giveaway because I haven't decided if I want to keep them or not. Um, but junk journaling, those that do junk journaling, she said that these, I forget what they're called. But she said that they're actually really expensive um, if you buy them like elsewhere. So she had bought them and I was like, you know what? I want to find those and see what they're all about. But again, so here it is. Here's one. <clears throat> I found four different prints and um, here's the first one. So it has the polka dots on there. And then you take this off and then it has like the faux suede inside do you see that and then like the cardboard cover and then the lined pages so she said that these are really good for junk journaling I mean they're great for just journaling in I mean in general or just even if you have notes and what's nice I just looked in here you can replace these notebooks so if you're somebody that takes notes or you know uh, lists or anything like that and this gets filled up you can just slip another notebook this size in here. So this came in the rainbow. This one, which I'm not like uh, a fan of. This one looks like way too kitty for my personal taste. But polka dots are some people's jam. So um, there's that one. And all of them look exactly the same inside. The, the like faux suede, the two notebooks. And then these are super pretty. This one I think is gorgeous right here. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Again, that, I might keep this one and give the rest away. So we'll see, keep an eye out, like I said. And then um, we have this print as well. So I, they're beautiful. And you guys know, I said, I'm all about the hunt. She, she got these and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to find those, but like I said, it's so funny because when she was holding them up, she's probably smaller than me. I'm kind of like huge, you know, I'm kind of big. I mean, like tall and stuff, you know, um, and my hands are like the size of a man's hands. But I thought that they were a lot bigger than they are. They are pretty. Let me see. Hold on. They are like six and a half inches long and about four and a half inches wide. So that's the size of those. And then this little unicorn one, six inches by like four, I'm gonna say four inches. So that's how big that one is. So you guys, that was all for the crafting stuff, okay? Until we get to Dollar General. But next I found, which I should have probably looked up, does it say the price on these? I should have looked these up before because I'm like, these kind of look like brand name. So <laughs> you guys know I have a thing for socks. I seriously don't know why. I don't know why. I have too many socks as it is, but I have every time I have a haul, I swear I have socks. I don't, whatever. So these are actually men's. 
and they are hum I want to say human knowledge crew socks and they are men's it says one size six to twelve and let me see and then you can see it's just a cat with a mustache cool sunglasses manufactured by equalizer accessories limited so i'm gonna look these up and i'll i'll put it in my description box if like these are actually like a different price somewhere uh oh man i got a dirty pair dang it but these are so cute and then this one are um why am i drawing a blank i was gonna say a walrus um a a what is it comment down below a oh my gosh this is gonna drive me crazy norwal a norwal and again they're men's socks the they're they have like the fin and the norwal all over it and they feel so soft so soft so i picked up these i love them i wear men's socks all the time i have ginormous calves like Put it out there like i said i'm tall i got big calves i got big feet hey okay personal care stuff you guys if you have kiddos grandkids nieces or nephew run to the store and buy these sorry you probably that was a loud bang i'm sure these right here the crayola bath bombs okay at walmart you get six of these in a little container and I want to say they're either the same size or just a tad bit smaller of these six of them. And they're about like six bucks. Like it's, it's crazy. And then for me, like, it's just crazy. And I, so I saw these two bucks for six. That's saving $4 right there on the Walmart ones. And they are fun. So they are, it says jelly bath bombs. So we tried one yesterday before reading the pack. And what it says is, um, let me see, allow to dissolve before entering, oh, before entering tubs. Yeah, I didn't even read that either. It says, jelly bath bomb into a tuple of warm water and watch the water color fizz and turn the water surface to a jelly texture. Allow to dissolve before entering tub, rinse skin and bathtub thoroughly with fresh, warm, soapy water to remove colorants and jelly residue after bath. So it says that, um, gosh, where is it? Use two or more for max jelly. So I don't know how I feel about that. We only did one last night. I, I don't know. Ooh, that would be weird. Um, but I thought these were so cool. My kids love bath bombs. So I grabbed, I think like eight packs of these. I probably should have grabbed more because we use them all the time. But like this was probably my favorite yeah my favorite find because i'm gonna save so much money on it all right now new nails i think i'm actually gonna put one on today not sure yet though um so la colors of course anytime i see these in new prints i pick them up so we got these three and they're ombre and we have this one's girls night. So that one's like more like a hot pink with a light pink or maybe like a salmon color, I would say. And then we have this really pretty like mauve and like light purple. I, this one's my favorite. And then we have the light and dark teal. This one's Oasis Calm. This one was Fresh Tips love 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 and i cannot wait to open these up and try them um remember i just apply mine with uh dollar trees super glue gel just make sure when you do these nails like come out of like the shower fresh get your cuticles put some rubbing alcohol to totally clean all the oils off the, the um, bed of your nails and then apply them and yeah, I might have like one that's kind of like loose and I have to reapply. But like the last ones that I had on that I showed you guys, I think I kept them on for like two weeks. So I always buy them. I love them. All right. You guys saw me haul sugar scrubs last time. And I picked up another one just because it said pineapple. And I'm like, that probably smells amazing. So let me see. It actually does not smell like 
know what it smells like? Like pineapple cake. Like that's what it, what is this? Oh, this is, oh, yeah, pineapple cake. Like upside down pineapple cake. Oh yeah, okay, I'm digging that. So that's a lip balm. I will say you guys, I did try those, the lip scrubs um, after I filmed. And I don't really think that they're like a, a lip scrub. They feel more like a lip balm than anything. Like, I mean, when I think of lip scrub, I think of like super um, coarse, you know, like cleansing. And those just had little baby specks in it. And yeah. All right. Found a new color of my favorite, favorite gloss from Dollar Tree. It's the LA Colors Plump Gloss. Love this stuff. It does not like... It's not an extreme tingle. I don't even think it like really like plumps, to be honest. I just like the formula of it. It's very smooth and buttery. It's not sticky whatsoever. Gosh, this went through H-E double hockey sticks and back. Um, this color is Shocker. Let's see. Oh, oh. That was fluff. Oh, Ooh, I like this, especially for summer. It's very sheen. And like beachy, you know, like if you just want to throw on like a little, I already have, look. Oh, that smells good. Like this could be a good um, lip topper, but I think that looks gorgeous on its own. If you just want to throw on like a pop of something as you're walking out, you know, this is really nice. I like this color a lot. Look at that. Can you guys see me perfect? Yes, yes, girl. Okay, then I grabbed some more face masks. I really like these to each their own. I don't need comments about blah, 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 blah. Don't care. This is my life. Uh, so these are the face masks. They're stretchy. Oh, these are actually a little different than the other ones. These are a little bit more uh, fitted, I would say. But there you go. That's what those look like. And uh, this like pretty pink one. So got those. And should we do the taste test last? I got a couple of things. Let's do Dollar General and then I'll, no, mm, Dollar General first. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you are. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I post photos of like my um, like decor and stuff, like how I decorate my house. And I found these at Dollar General a while ago. And I went back to get more and they were completely gone. Went back this weekend and found them. And I snatched three boxes of them up. Oh gosh. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Look at these corbels. Look at them. So I kept then black on the ones that I'm currently using. And then, but you can paint these any color. And you guys, do you see that price tag? Oh, thank goodness gracious. You come down here and you too. <sighs> like I just tasted that. Blech. Blech. Oh my gosh, you guys. And you guys like, hey, oh, okay. Anyway. <sighs> I want to show you what they look like here. So they are smaller. They are like seven and a half by approximately like five, like 4.75, I would say. And they are, and um, an inch and a quarter, but these are awesome. They are like wood are some kind of format of wood but like we put these in the wall and then we drilled holes and nailed some uh weathered wood on top of the ones we have but I want to make like a library in our pop out in our bedroom and I was like these would add just so much detail to them or I could use them in the bathroom or like wherever but seven bucks for the pair is insane is absolutely insane because if you guys go to Home Depot the big handmade corbels are like 50 to and up. And then at um, Hobby Lobby, you can find them. If they're on sale, they're a really good price. But again, you're paying that price for each one. So 
that's a dang steal, y'all. And let me, I don't know. These are just called set of two wooden corbels. Um, item number 286062, if you guys want to look that up. All right, then I found these, which I've never seen before. I've seen people do DIYs, but I didn't know these came from uh, Dollar General. I thought people were like just, you know, putting them together. And what's nice, if you don't like this, you could take the pig off and use the pig separately. You can use the chicken wire separately. Like it doesn't have to be used in its entirety. Um, we got the cow. So we got the oink, the moo, and then our cluck. So I thought those were really nice. They are very, very, very lightweight. And then let me see. I got this. This is actually for Chrissy Creates DIY. She collects piggy stuff. And I had hauled these in an Instagram live from Dollar General. There's actually a rooster one and a cow one in this. And they're just little $1 here. Oh, sorry. And then those, the ones I just showed you were a dollar each. Uh, but super small but i grabbed her that because she collects pig stuff and of course now i find these i was dying to have some of these for spring diys which granted it's still spring of course but how i find them now and they're like the the heavy cement birds i only saw them in, in these two colors and they were a dollar each so i don't plan on keeping them this color but super pretty, love these, and they're heavy too. So grab some of those. All right, next, I went to um, to the bigger Dollar General that sells more of like the home goods kind of stuff. And when I walked in, these were right in the front and they were a dollar each. And I thought, oh my gosh, I think that one's like missing one up here. Oh, well, but these see how it's missing dang it sammy come on now so those and then they had the plain green ones and then these spoke to me the purple and the green i just love them what are they like let me see oh you can lift them up i don't know maybe i just need to oh i don't know either way i mean they're really pretty for fillers and again, they had the um, yellow, the green, and the purple, and those were a dollar each. I found this, one dollar. If you guys don't even like this, you can use it uh, to paint something else. The front does have a texture on it though, but I am, I think gonna kinda go for this vibe, like a black and white, and then we're gonna do like a greenish paint color in the kids' bathroom. Haven't decided yet, but I just grabbed one. I mean, it's for a dollar. If I don't use it to decorate the bathroom, I can paint it. Okay, so towels. The towels at Dollar General, I would say are way better quality than Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's towels, every time I wash them, they shrink up, I mean, a lot, and they don't absorb anything. Dollar Generals, though, are great, and they're still a dollar. So I found this beautiful dark blue floral one, which is, gosh, it's gorgeous. And they're just by True Living. It doesn't have like an exact one or anything, but super pretty. And then this one, I actually, there was only one of these left and I got this to DIY with. So gorgeous. I was trying to open it up for you guys, but when life gives you lemons, make lemonade and totally vibing on that. So there's that one. They have tons of lemon stuff out right now. So if that's something that you're wanting to decorate with for summer, head on over there because their lemon stuff was great. So you guys, those were my Dollar General finds. Let me know down below if you go to Dollar General, um, if you like shopping there as well as the Dollar Tree because I I'm shocked sometimes of the things that I find that are like a dollar to two dollars there. And I'm like, uh, yes. Okay. Taste testing. It's here and it's all junk food. I only got three things, but I have heard, I don't know how many times that these taste exactly like the Girl Scout cookies. 
So I was like, mm, you know what? Since I've been taste testing, I guess I'll grab a box and finally try them out. I've also heard, let me know you guys down below. I believe there is another cookie maybe that they carry that tastes comparable. Okay, and Thin Mints are my jam. I haven't, oh my gosh, they smell amazing. I like them frozen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Four cookies is 150 calories. Holy moly. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Shutting this down. We'll let hubby eat those. Oh my gosh. It comes with two of those, but yes. Yes, yes. Those taste exactly. Exactly like Girl Scout cookies. Exactly. You guys, this has 11 grams of added sugar too. One gram of protein, but 150 calories for four. It's so crazy when you start eating healthy and like being more conscious of things. When you see like like a meal for me is like 350 to 400 calories each meal. So when I see 150, I'm like, oh my gosh, when you think about it, that's like a quarter of like one meal. That's insane. Okay. Then I grabbed these. They are sugar sprinkled coconut cookies. I'm, you guys know I'm sorry for all the, and they, oh, I thought that they were really, oh, look it. Look, they're all like little tiny. There's, um, this is Global Brands. We tried that last week in the, I think the wafers. Not last week, two weeks before. Bonus pack too. So there's 10 little cookies. No, 10 packs. How many cookies are in here? Um, I don't know. How many calories? 12, there's 12 cookies in here. And it's 200 calories for the entire thing. But I love coconut. Oh, it says nice. Do they all say something different? Hmm. They're very, very subtle, like super subtle, like not even like subtle, like a sugar cookie. It's, it's less than that. It's, I could taste like a hint of the coconut. Gosh, what can I compare these to? I don't know. I, I think they're, they're good. Like, I mean, 12 cookies for 200 calories. I mean, that's pretty good. And then if you have like little ones, I could see like babies, like, you know, when they, they're into like the sucking on cook. No, never mind. These are way too little. They'll just put that in their mouth. But I do think these are good. I think my kids would enjoy them. Um, and I like that they're small and petite and yeah. And they're very subtle. Like if you don't like super sweet stuff, but you just want that like little bit of sweetness, these would be great, especially with like tea. Okay. Everett, okay. last one. <sighs> Mini fudge marshmallow cookies. I like how I buy these because I get to taste them, but I don't eat them. I, my husband is like the, the um, sweets person. He could eat, sorry you guys. Oh man. He could eat. He eats cookies like before he goes to bed. And I don't really like them. Oh, how cute are these? Look at, they look like little baby bunk cakes. How cute would these be for like a party to set out and then to put like a little, I don't know, something in the middle and then like a little, I don't know. I don't know. These are so cute. I wonder if they're gonna taste like a moon pies. Okay, let's see. Do I want to? I'll take a bite first and then look at the calories. Oh, oh mm hmm. Mm. The 
that's good. That is good. The marshmallow is so soft in here. Like, so, like, yeah, I'm playing with my food, mom. I don't know if you can see it. Like, so very soft. The bottom part is, is it supposed to be fudge? I don't know. Kind of like a cookie texture. They do remind me a lot of moon pies, except you don't have like the cookie texture on the top part. But these are so darn adorable. Without making them fall all out. Oh, I am not even going to finish this cookie. Oh my gosh. Two of them is 110 calories. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Two of them. No, 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 no. Yeah. Because the serving size is two cookies. Calories per serving, 110 calories. I'm so glad I looked after y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll put that back in. John could eat that other half. All right, you guys. So that is our Dollar Tree Dollar General haul today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you're digging me, if you're digging the channels, channel and the hauls. I really appreciate you guys watching these hauls and I hope you have an amazing week. And as usual, I will be back here on Saturday. Bye y'all.